Okay, so most of the videos won't be in this like Zoom style, don't worry about that. Um, but just so that I can show you a few things easily here, um, you'll wanna have your periodic table printed out or open in some kind of PDF so that you can write all over it. Um, what I'm showing you here, uh, which is also what's linked in the document, is what you'd always have access to um, on tests or quizzes. So everything that it looks like I hand wrote in is always gonna be on the periodic tables I provide you. Um, you'll see, I'm kind of gonna ignore this section at the bottom. We're gonna ignore it most of the year. Don't worry about it. Um, they don't, we don't use them often in real life or in this class. Um, some things I wanna point out to you that you might know, but you need to know, um, is how I'm gonna to refer to things on the periodic table. So these first two columns, and you'll notice that I left hydrogen out of it, that's on purpose. Those first two columns are what I'm going to call just metals. You may have heard of um, alkali metals or alkaline earth metals or transition metals. Um, we'll get to those specific names, but for now, everything that I just outlined there in green, we will call metals. I left hydrogen out of it because hydrogen is not a metal. Um, switching colors. Okay, so those are the metals. Um, transition metals are also metals, but we're gonna have them as a separate category. Um, this center section that I'm putting in blue are our transition metals. And you'll notice I'm going all the way over to this staircase, um, and I'm kind of going to use most of that staircase as a guide. We don't really work with these down here, so don't stress about them. But essentially, this center section, notice I left aluminum out of it. This center section, we are going to call our transition metals. Um, I left aluminum out of it. We're actually going to, the reason why is we always know aluminum has that plus three charge. So these charges I'll talk about in future videos at, up top here. Um, aluminum has that plus three charge. So it's just a regular old metal as far as I'm concerned. Um, and then that leaves everything to the right of this staircase. So super general, to the left of the staircase, we have metals. Some are just metals, some are transition metals. To the right of the staircase, we have our non-metals. So everything to the right of the staircase and hydrogen, which is not a metal, those we will call our, sorry, this should be pink, non-metals. Um, that's all you need to know for us to get started.